So I'm a solo creator and I really want to use Move AI for motion capture. And it's a great idea. You can use multiple iPhones to make your motion capture. Now, at the moment, I'm on a $50 a month creator tier with Move and they are slowly but surely improving the product. And I just wanted to give a bit of feedback. The main frustration that I have is uploading to the web. The host device tells me again and again that it's finished uploading and then restarts uploading and it just gets into these loops. Or I choose to upload all on the hosting device and it just gives me this for a long time. It never says there's a problem and on the actual individual devices it doesn't say what the problem is. So I'm not sure. Both de All devices have full Wi-Fi strength so I don't know what's going on but it just will sit there forever like that. And in terms of the camera devices, when you go in and try to upload manually, it's hard to use the interface if you're using a phone. It's fine on iPads, but on phones, you've got to just, you've just got this little tiny area uh, that you, yeah, it's very difficult to scroll and figure out what's going on. And also it says, see how you can see here, it says it's got the gray tick to the right of this. And you'd think that means it's uploaded. But at this moment, when I was recording this, I went back into my office and it definitely was not on the web app. So I chose to re-upload. But this caused another Wi-Fi problem. Even though I had full five bars of Wi-Fi and I could browse the internet fine from this device, it just sits here and nothing happens. Um, and I let this be for about 45 minutes, just nothing. And there's no error that ever comes up. And you can't cancel this process. So that close button is inactive. You can't tap on that close button. It doesn't work. Uh, so I had to force quit to get out of this. And also in general, what the phones say and what the web app says are often different. So the phones can say, uh, can give ticks on different things and say they're uploaded, but the web app still says you haven't got anything at all. So that can be really frustrating. Now, the other thing is when you're finished recording uh, a take, the camera devices are still stuck on, they stay with the cameras, right? They still stay using battery and showing the camera, even if you're finished and all you're trying to use is use that device to actually upload. So it just sits there frozen on that page. And it doesn't tell you what's going on at all on the individual camera device. So you're relying 100% on the hosting device. And I've just seen over and over that what it says on the hosting device is incorrect. The other part of the process that's really frustrating is calibration because it can fail, but the web app will still say it's processing. So the web app will still be stuck on 55%, which seems to be the way it goes. And you get an email saying calibrations failed. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do there. So I tend to cancel, um, go back to the web app and cancel it. But I don't know whether it, that just means it's it thinks it's going to fail and it's not actually, I don't know. And there seems to be no rhyme or reason to why it fails. It gives no reasons. That can be really difficult. So those are the really main problems that I have with Move AI. I hope they keep working on it and they fix it. I think it's gonna be absolutely fantastic when it's finished.